Hi, today I'm going to show you how to burn your PS2 games so that you can play them on PCSX2 or just back them up in general. First things first, you're going to want to make sure you have Image Burner. I will link this in the description below and I'll also pin it as the top comment, the download link for this. This is the only program we need. If you want help downloading here, here's just a quick little tutorial on how to do it. So we're on the web page here, like I said, the link's in the description. We're going to go to latest releases. Find the download button, click here. Wait for that one to come up. Find one of the mirrors. I'm going to do this one, mirror seven. Save file. Head over to my downloads folder. Set up image burn, drag that onto the desktop, double click to open, yes, next, I accept terms license, so you can read it all for here, but you know how it goes, next, Still for any icons, yep, yep, that's fine. Next, destination folder, choose wherever you want. I'm going to leave it in program files. Next, next for that one. Now, this is the page we need to be careful of. It's going to try to bundle you with this, like for your web advisor. Uh, it's going to be different for all of you. Just make sure you go untick that because they're crafty, but they got to make their money. It's freeware in it, so. Unblock that. Next. And it installs just like that. Thank you for installing Image Burn. Right, now grab your disk from your PS2, whatever game you'd like. I'm going to grab Sad Damage Overdrive here. Here's disk. I'm going to slot it in. And then when it comes up on Windows 10, we'll go back to your computer and open up Image Burner. Right. Now that you've got Image Burner downloaded and your disk's in, we're going to double click and open up Image Burner. Wait for that to open up. And what we're going to do today is we want to create an image file from disk. Um, if you want to create a backup of your PS2, then all you have to do is write image file to disk, but first you would need to do this one. So we're going to click on create image file from disk. We're going to make sure you have the right DVD tray selected. So I have got a virtual one, but D drive is the one I want. Cell damage, there it is. Tell me exactly where it is. And here we have the settings. So I normally set it to four times, eight times speed. Uh, you can set it higher. It just there's less chance of anything going wrong if you set it to this speed. And once I'm done, I just click this button here, and I wait for it to all go through. So I'll be right back once it's finished downloading. All right. So now it's finished downloading. Operation successful. We click OK. Close out that one. We'll wait for this one just to reset quickly. And if you want to know if you've got where your destination is, where you've saved it, it tells you right here. So if you ever need to know it, it's right there. So mine's in my documents. Documents. Scroll. And there it is. Celldamage.bin. I'm going to drag this one onto the desktop. Just like so. Close out those ones. Open up our PCSX2. CD DVD ISO selector. We're going to browse for the one we just dragged onto the desktop wherever we are, and there it is cell damage dot bin. So I'm just going to open this one, and I'll boot it fast just to show it now works. Wait for those ones. And here we go, so Damage Overdrive, our PS2 game, we've just downloaded it onto our computer, and we're now playing on PCSX2. And if you want to back that up, then just go back onto Image Burner, and you can burn it onto a fresh disk. So Tonight, that image on a off. very special episode of is. Cell Damage. Will Violet finally learn of the disease that's slowly killing her? Will Cinder finally become house trained? Nah! We'll just drive around way too fast and blow up everything in sight like we do every week. And don't forget to...
If this tutorial helped you out, feel free to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you want plenty of more emulation content to come. I've got another Semu and Zelda Breath of the Wild on mid-range PCs video coming up. And I'll also be showing you Kingdoms Hearts and Resident Evil and how to play the older titles with the new titles such as Resident Evil 2 HD Remake coming up and also Kingdom Hearts 3. See you soon guys, hope you enjoyed. Peace.